Let's have a look at a new tool in Affinity Designer 1.7 and that is the Point Transform tool. So this tool is great because it allows you to transform, uh, scale or rotate uh, a particular object about its own geometry by moving a transform origin point on that object into different positions and then having the object rotate and scale around that point. So I just want to demonstrate the tool using this simple origami inspired example. And this is kind of made up of uh, several uh, triangular shapes. So uh, first thing I want to do though is uh, switch off the finished piece and just uh, put a kind of like a, a low opacity uh, sample to draw against. So um, let's first of all start by creating uh, a simple triangle and we're basing the design on lots of different triangles to get that origami look. I'll convert to curves to expose the three nodes there and we'll show you the tool for the first time. So there's a node tool there so if I just click that disclosure um, triangle there and you'll see the point transform tool right there so I'll enable that and the object changes, so the nodes go slightly smaller, but also we've introduced this transform origin. And when you reposition this transform origin, just by dragging, you'll see that it will snap onto the nodes, you see with the green and the red um, dynamic guides there, and also onto the geometry of an object, and you can see the yellow there on the outline. But in this particular instance, what we want to do is to just snap it onto the bottom left hand corner. So that's our custom transform origin set. I can drag this triangle now to this kind of position to start with. Um, so we're going to expect to have pivoting from this point and we'll do that right now. So we'll go up to this smaller node and just drag out for the rear wing. Now that triangle is clearly not the right size at the moment, so by using the A key, keyboard shortcut, I'll press A, and then we expose our nodes again, and I'll just move those back into uh, that kind of position. Now I can toggle backwards and forwards between the node tool and the point transform tool by choosing the F. So we can toggle between F and A to give us um, the change in functionality. But I want to duplicate this particular triangle, so I'll do a Command J to duplicate. That's Control J on Windows. And you'll see that even though we've got the Transform Origin set, we can just rotate and scale about that Transform Origin and slightly adjust the size if needed and release. So that's our rear and front wing sorted out. And we can carry on this approach by just uh, duplicating and scaling and rotating as before. So I'll just move this one. Just onto here. You can scale it to about there and then jump to the node tool let's bring that roughly to that kind of position point transform we can snap it and then jump between the tools like that Okay, let's just uh, duplicate that one. And then we'll position this one somewhere on the geometry of this line. You can see that yellow line appearing there. So we'll take it right to the tip and then transform again like that. And we should find that it just snaps together nicely. There you go, that's perfectly touching there. Let's work on the bird's head quickly. So I'll just draw triangles before. Convert to 
curves and we'll just go into the point transform again again this is just repeating what we've done before and I'll just drag it onto that point and this is a really quick way of just uh, building up the bird's head and I'll just move that scale it slightly outwards to there and I'll duplicate again in this case I'm going to move this transform origin to this point up here and now I'll do a duplicate and then I should be able to just drag this one out and that should snap onto this object here you can see that just there okay I'll just finally for the bird's head anyway uh, just draw out the the bill let's give that a kind of an orange color drop that into position Let's just quickly draw the tail feathers now. And I'll just click down here and say about there, there, and close the, the shape there and give that the usual blue coloration. Go into the point transform tool and resetting the transform origin to a custom location at this top left hand corner. A duplicate and then from the lower node down here, I can just drag that out. Let's give it even a little bit longer than this uh, original tail feather. So I'll just add some coloration to the wings. So we'll give that a darker, slightly darker color to here and here. And this one will give it um, perhaps even darker, even still. One final thing to show you is how you can transform text using the point transform tool like you can shapes. So uh, I'll just hide this underlying um, template if you like and uh, we can just concentrate now on purely on the text and with the point transform tool still enabled you'll see there's an option up here which is text baseline mode. This means when we introduce uh, any kind of text, artistic text for instance, um, when we go to the point transform tool, you'll see that with the option enable text baseline mode on the context toolbar, that you have in a similar way to shapes, a transform origin, but you'll also have this baseline here which just shows along the bottom of the text. That should show or hide with that option there. Now what's nice about this is that you can move this transform origin anywhere along that baseline onto the node there or onto the other node and that allows me to move that text and actually snap it onto the edge of the tail there. This is great because this now allows me to go to the other end of the uh, baseline and just um, scale that node outwards and rotate as well if I need to so it will fit onto the existing tail feather.